So, getting back into it, and I'm going to make sure this lighting's right. Look at my skin. That looks great. I'm eating so good. Oh, there she is. She's crying. What you getting? Hmm? Swaddle? Yeah, I gotta roll up some. Stop. 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 Yeah, roll up some. Look at her. Stop. It's better to use a plush because that type of stuff, it can, it, it tangles and get, it can get in her nose. So try to use a plush. Okay. I don't know the size of what you need. I'm sorry. Anyhow, he's putting the baby to sleep. This shit is crazy. The girl's tired, but then when she's tired, she 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 starts to she doesn't want to go to sleep like she's about to miss something, you know. So she's going off. I hope y'all can deal with that. So anyway, this is what I wanted to talk to y'all about. So this is just another clip in a whole video about candles, about prayer candles again, um, and also I want to talk about God. I want to talk about God and the relationship to. You know, him, her, what we are, da, da 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 So, I grew up in a Christian church. I did a lot of soul searching, me personally. I wanted to ask a lot of questions because I didn't understand a lot of things that they were saying to me. Little did I know that some of the things that they say or some of the doctrines that they teach are based off of maintaining a control over the masses of people. Like, it's a church on every corner, there's a school in between the blocks... You know, like, we all know what's going on, really. But we're not going to talk about that because I'm not trying to create controversy. I'm just trying to create an outlet for people who are trying to, you know, understand what I'm, where I'm coming from, okay? So, I love church, don't get me wrong, for the social aspect of it. But the spiritual aspect of it has to be an individual walk. So, I started to ask questions because I was like, yo, what's up with this? And somebody was like, oh, read Romans 8. I read it. It didn't make sense. And I'm really great with discerning in the spirits. I know what the scriptures mean. I come from that. This is the thing. So when you start to really ask God what it is, and you start to really ask Jesus who and what it is, some things show up because your soul calls for it. Okay? And all this life is, is based off of beliefs. We exist because we believe we exist. This place exists the way it is because we believed it to exist the way it is. I wonder often if somebody said the sky was purple, would it be a purple color? Why is the sky blue, but then it's purple and it's pink and it's orange and it's yellow at the end of the day? So these are things to understand because I took spiritual journeys and meditations and what I found out is being deep in meditation is that we manifest this environment based off of our true beliefs, what's in our subconscious, what's deep down. So heaven, hell, all these things are a state of mind. And God is the definition of the words from the Germans. It means to invoke, to bring forth. So because you have a name, you are brought forth. You're invoked, manifest into this reality. You exist because you have a name. When you say the book of life, we've been written in the book of life, I have the ability to access that. That's called the Akashic Records. So all of these things were, this information was given to me because I asked for it. It wasn't like I found in a webinar, I found in a seminar. It wasn't like that. All these things were called by my soul because I was digging so hard. So there's a lot of people out here that don't understand that to really have a good life, you have to have a base and spiritual foundation. Uh, not saying that you really have to go to church per se, but more like you need a way to connect because that's how you use your intuition and you use your spiritual body to, you know, go find things that you need. Okay. Like for instance, everybody who's out there, raise your hand. If you needed a ride, you missed the bus, a car shows up, you, you your phone line rings, you know who it is. All of that stuff is discernment. We're all connected. Um, there's scientific reasons for a lot of things. I have reasons for a lot of things. I had to find reason. I'm a practical person. I'm a pragmatic person. I had to find reason within spirituality. It couldn't just be blind faith. I mean, even though it is. Let's see back there screaming. I'll be right back.